to update us on those report of rescues. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Premier. I just thought I'd update you on what's been happening in the past 24 hours and, and really what's happened since the event began. Since the event um, started, we've had some 5,600 SES tasks. We've worked our way through half of those, so please, um, we've had a considerable amount come in just since 6 o'clock last night, and that's around the 1,300 mark. So can appreciate the SES crews are out there awfully busy and getting to you as soon as we can. And honest, uh, and even this morning we've had SES obviously evacuating people around that Logan, Logan River area. We've also had since six o'clock this morning, uh, sorry, yesterday morning in the southeast part of the state, some 108 water related rescues. And, um, and if I could just keep reminding people about the rescues that we've had in those waters. It's really cars driving into waters, people playing in the water, etc. So please always be mindful of around water. And as the flood continues in those areas, uh, in those rivers, please be extraordinarily mindful and just keep away from those waterways, please, because I'm sure that those numbers will increase as will those SES tasks. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner, the 5,600 SES tasks, that since Debbie crossed the coast? Yeah, that's since um, we started on the Sunday afternoon, we started getting SES tasks as a result of the system. So since that time, 5,600. And do you know how many SES tasks were uh, called in, in the southeast? In the southeast, just since 6 p.m. last night, uh, 1,250, but that number is increasing. And uh, in terms of uh, the southeast, are there any uh, reports of injuries uh, from people in the southeast? We haven't had, actually, that might, I might refer that one to the police, Patrick. Certainly from uh, my side of the house, we haven't had that. We've, we've had a lot of rescues. We've had, you know, people on roofs, people on in cars, you name it. But in terms of injuries, I might put that over to the police. Thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, just an update on um, some other issues across uh, the state. So I can advise that... Uh, uh, in the uh, Bowen Mackay with Sunday region, uh, we still have 50,000 people without power, but 15,000 homes have been uh, restored since the cyclone has hit up in regional Queensland. And down here in the southeast of our state, we still have around 90,000 customers without power and 80,000 have been restored overnight. And some 630 uh, power lines uh, were affected as part of the storm system that the severe storm system that we saw that hit southeast Queensland yesterday. In relation to damage assessments that have been done, especially in regional Queensland, there are now 2,000 uh, that are in and there are 270 uh, that, uh, that are no longer um, housing that are completely uninhabited at the moment. So as you can see, a lot of work is happening. We've had also some reports about um, concerns about water. We've just had Brigadier Chris Field on the phone. The Army is doing everything to get uh, water into those parts of North Queensland that I mentioned, Airlie, Proserpine, Bowen and the Whitsunday Islands. We have uh, HMAS Melville helping with the water with the islands at the moment and we also have structural engineers that are on the ground at the moment uh, working with the Mayor and the areas that have been impacted. So a big thank you to the Defence and Navy at the moment as well. Premier, Early Beach people are complaining that they haven't seen anyone uh, over the last two or three days to help with water and food. Can you reassure them that some help is coming? Yes, I can reassure uh, people there that the ADF, I just got off the phone from Brigadier uh, Chris Field, uh, help is on its way. Uh, I've also sent uh, the Deputy Premier up to Ellie Beach today as well. She'll be on the ground in the next uh, few hours to be able to be talking to residents. Uh, but once again, it has been the wild weather system has hampered uh, operate recovery operations, but now that uh, the weather is easing in the north, uh, we are trying everything we can to get uh, trucks in there, and trucks with water uh, from the Army are on their way. Are there enough crews to deal with this Uh, look, my advice uh, from both our police and emergency services is that we do have enough uh, crews at the moment. We do have assistance from New South Wales. It has been a very, very big effort from everyone involved. And a big thank you to everyone, and especially those crews that have been working over the, overnight uh, to rescue people and to ensure that they are safe. Final message today is please, uh, where you are seeing these rising waters, uh, stay out of them. If it's flooded, forget it. 
Uh, we don't want our staff uh, diverted when we have rescue operations at the moment and evacuations happening. Police Commissioner, have we had any uh, recent reports of looting, not necessarily this year in the South East, but further up north? Uh, certainly, no, that hasn't been brought to my attention. We have had a couple of issues of robberies that have occurred um, over the last uh, week in some of the affected areas, um, but whether they were opportunistic because of the event uh, will have to play out uh, in the normal process. Um, could I also add to one warning, though, that the Premier raised, uh, and it's more about the fact that we've got all those kids who are off school today here in the, particularly in the southeast, uh, they started uh, school holidays a little bit early, and I'm, I bet you they're very happy about that. But what we're concerned about is there is a huge amount of water, a groundwater that's around, and we don't want any tragedies with those kids getting out playing in, in uh, water in parks, you know, uh, creeks, whatever. Uh, so parents, I'd ask you, particularly those who are caring for young ones today, keep an eye on them. Um, they can quickly. Um, I, I'm sure that they can quickly get out there uh, if they're not watched and they're not given some advice about um, doing the right thing and, and keeping themselves safe. So please keep that in your mind today. Um, we don't want any tragedies. Commissioner, are you able to uh, update us on any injuries that have been reported so far from the, in the South East Circle? Um, I'm going to let the State Disaster Coordinator um, uh, potentially comment on that, but um, we've got um, you know, there are still active jobs going, you know, and we still have uh, at least one person that I know that is uh, that hasn't been accounted for, and that's the gentleman up in the uh, up in the Lamington National Park, that area up there. So um, around um, around that um, uh, O'Reilly's area. So we've still got those active jobs happening. Um, but again, I just ask everyone, make sure that uh, relatives know where you are, know that you're safe, because I still think that we will get those jobs where people will um, think that their friends or family are missing, um, uh, but it's because the mobile phones run out of battery that they're cut off uh, and they're just doing the right thing and staying safe in place. What's the situation about missing man? Is he alone in, in the National Park? My understanding is that he was a bushwalker, yes, and um, uh, well, he, is, he remains unaccounted for and, and you can just imagine what the conditions are like up there.